Emily pat it, pat it. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the Makeup Revolution Emily palette. And so I will insert the picture that I wore purples yesterday here. And then today I used some of the reds and golds with the upcoming holiday season. I just thought that that would be fun. So here we have the Makeup Revolution palette. It's got some great colors in it. It's got a ginormous mirror. And so you can see all my junk over there. Um, so this is the beautiful palette. I'm about, I don't want to say 50-50 on this palette, but it definitely has some strengths and some weaknesses. So let's talk about the strengths. The strengths, I think this palette is really pretty. I think this palette will carry well into spring and summer. So I feel like this palette is a palette you can wear all year round, which is fantastic. Um, as far as the colors go, I think they, they blend okay. They blended well. However, you have to kind of blend and build up, blend, build up. So it, you really have to work on that piece. The thing that I found that I didn't really enjoy about this palette is the lighter colors seem to go on what they look like in the palette. The darker colors really just kind of go on super light. So what I found with this palette is I used my fingers to put on the colors more than normal. And I don't like using my fingers, but with this palette, you almost don't have a choice. So if you are using the darker colors, um, it's best for you to use, I use my ring finger and kind of dab it in there to get it built up the way that I want because using just a brush does not work or it just takes forever and you don't get the true color payouts like it, it looks like in the pan. So that was kind of the downfall for me. Now, now that I said something challenging that I had about it, let me tell you about another positive with this palette. I built the colors up both yesterday and today with my finger so that I could really get the color that I wanted, which matches the pan. However, what I liked about this palette is once you get that color on, it doesn't fall off. A, you don't have fall out, but the colors stayed on throughout the workday and did not come off, did not lighten up. I think what I really liked about this palette is once you got it to the level that you wanted color-wise, you're good to go for the rest of the day. Some palettes, especially the Too Faced Christmas palettes for 2018, they you can put those babies on with your finger, with a brush, whatever, and in a couple hours, the colors are kind of coming off and dimming. And this didn't do that. So I really, really like the fact that once you get the color level that you want, these don't disappear throughout the workday. And I really, really have to say I totally enjoy that piece. Overall, I would give this palette probably a 7 out of 10 just because of having to build up the colors with my finger versus really being able to use brushes. But I think the, the payoff piece of it is that really and truthfully, even if you have to do that, you do have an eyeshadow that lasts the full, you know, work day, full day, etc. So that kind of offset it for me, but I would give this palette about a seven. I do, again, like the palette for spring going into summer and even fall with some of the, these greens. Anyways, if you like this palette, and you don't mind working on really building up the color, I think you're going to be pleased with it. Emily is such a sweet and gracious host on YouTube, and so it's fun to see a YouTuber as sweet and just a really genuine person be able to have a, a palette and to be able to co-brand with Makeup Revolutions. Emily, I wish you the absolute best. I think this is fantastic for you and your family. I'm sure it's been a great adventure and certainly it is well deserved. For those of you that have used this palette, I'm really curious to see what color combinations are your favorite. 
I can't wait to get into the green since I've now been into the purples and the peach and pinks. I think and the gold so really I just have the greens to get all into and maybe one or two more of the nudes. Other than that I've used most of these colors in the look either today or tomorrow. Yesterday. Not tomorrow. Yesterday. Anyways I'm super pumped to hear about your thoughts and uh, on this palette and I really look forward to talk, discussing it below with you. I hope you enjoyed this quick review of this palette and with that being said you know what I'm going to probably say. You have a choice. So make it a great day. Until next time. Hi, Mrs.